Hello everyone, my name is Abhishek and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will address a very common concern. I am sure you must have looked at the thumbnail and understood that I will be talking about the situation of freshers in the current market. There are a couple of reasons why I am making this video. One is I was there at the Cloud Native Day Pune the other day and I think I met close to 200-300 people. Out of them, 50 to 60 might be freshers from different streams like AI, ML, MLOps, DevOps and Cloud, Data Engineering and they were all sharing same concerns. Abhishek, how do I tackle the current situation? How do I apply for the jobs in current situation and get a job? Also on our YouTube channel, on this channel, there are a lot of comments from freshers in past month, past couple of months. So I thought I'll make a dedicated video, share my point of view, my suggestions, and also some tips and tricks that I would have done if I was in your place. Firstly, let's understand that this situation is same across multiple streams. Most of my subscribers are from DevOps and Cloud or people who are learning DevOps and Cloud. But situation is same for AI, ML, data engineering. All of them are facing the same situation. That is currently market is not that friendly for freshers. I'm saying market is not friendly, but I'm not saying market is completely down. That means there are still some companies who have money to invest in freshers, you know, who have some positions opening. But the problem is that, you know, those positions might not be reaching you. Because if you compare situation in the previous years, when you are in your colleges, you know, you might have seen your seniors getting placed in their final year, or, you know, you might have taken a career gap and you might have seen people similar to you who have taken a career gap and easily getting into the job market. And why is the situation not same now? Because of multiple reasons that are happening across globe, right? And one thing that I wanted to tell you is you are in no place to control the situation. That is either you or me, you know, we cannot change the situation, but we have to just go with the flow of the situation. There might be a lot of pressure on you that, you know, during the last year, people who are in my place, they were getting placed very easily. And this time I'm not getting placed. Is it because I'm in the wrong stream? You must be evaluating, should I move from DevOps and cloud to data engineering? Should I move from data engineering to AIML, right? Or from AIML to development in Python, Java. So you might see a lot of suggestions like this, but understand the situation is same across all the streams. And like I told you, we are in no place to control it. What you need to do at this point of time is there are few openings and multiple people applying for it, hundreds of positions or maybe thousands of people, thousands of people applying for the same position. So one is try to build your networking. Okay. Because a lot of times what happens is when there are fear, uh, fever opportunities, I mean, very less opportunities, they get closed within the network. That is, if there is an opening in my company, because there is a fresher who is constantly approaching me, probably I would refer that person, right? So just try to build your network and try to, uh, you know, reach as many people as possible, because that's the only thing that is in, in your hand, building a, net, building a proper network and trying to reach people. The other thing is about the future of the market, right? So talking about the future of the market, currently we are in the Q4, quarter four, a lot of companies are closing their year. And what happens is during Q1, Q2, January, March, that time, again, you might see a lot of companies getting money to invest in the market. That is in the positions. Right now, many companies are in hiring freeze. They are not recruiting new people, probably new year, you know, there might be new goals for the companies. Companies might again target to recruit people, experienced engineers as well as freshers, right? So let's hope that this situation gets better. 
and meanwhile what you need to do is you know be prepared for it that is if the market is getting better in q1 or q2 you have to be ready for it right whatever you are learning today just prepare a strategy you know try to complete all the things before q1 q2 let's say you want to be prepared with devops and cloud you know what is the road map right understand the road map follow a particular uh, course or you know playlist whatever you are currently uh, going through complete it by then and prepare your resume take mock interviews you can take your own mock interviews you don't have to approach anyone right there are a lot of mock interviews on youtube or you can also just turn on uh, camera and start uh, seeing you know how you are answering your questions right and other tips and tricks if you ask me what i can uh, do if i was in your position is yeah definitely uh, i would go through the company portals right and not just looking at the linkedin but sometimes you know i will just go through a lot of companies and see like if there is any position for one year experienced candidates or two years experienced candidates and sometimes you know even you are not eligible for that because it clearly states that they require one or two experienced uh, candidates but probably i'll try to you know show my uh, projects that i'm doing in the uh, current uh, if you are a college student like you do a, a college project right so your college project or uh, if you have taken a career gap uh, you know i would try to show up some uh, freelancing or uh, any kind of things that i have done in the resume and i'll try to apply for one or two years experience mostly one year experience two years becomes very difficult so i'll try to apply for zero to one year experience candidates and you know if there is a luck and if there is weightage in your resume and that time if the recruiter thinks that okay uh, you know this person might suit and uh, they might call you for an interview but the opportunity or you know the chances for this is very less but just try to be optimistic and uh, because you cannot control the market i'm saying it multiple times you cannot control the market so don't think about it too much i know you are at the loss you are at the place where you are taking this uh, things but again when you can't do anything why you have to think about it too much right so that's all i have i think i have cleared all your questions i think you know uh, for all the people posting on the youtube comments and people who have asked me the same questions yesterday so this is my answer for you thank you so much for watching the video take care see you all in the next one bye bye